Hey guys, Sick Buddy here, and this is gonna be my first kind of how to video. And this is gonna be something a lot of people have asked me off stream, a couple of people have asked me on stream, a lot of people ask in the Discord, and a lot of new people who want to proceed content creation as a hobby aren't aware how to do it. And I'm gonna tell you my way of doing it. I know there's a lot of other ways to do it, but this is my personal way of doing it, and that is how to post clips on Instagram of your Fortnite gameplay. Let's get right into it. Guys, so the first thing you wanna do is get your clips. And the first thing you need to get your clips is obviously a program to record your gameplay while you're getting those clips. And the first thing that I went for and a lot of people usually go for is OBS Studio. This is free. It's kind of plug and play. You plug it in, you type in how to use it. You know, there's videos all over YouTube. I'll throw a couple in the description for both OBS and Streamlabs. Streamlabs is what I personally use. And what first thing is get that and start playing. Play whatever game you want, whether it's Fortnite, Call of Duty, Doom, Zelda, Minecraft whatever just record get those clips and you know have fun while you're doing it don't try to be fake be authentic authentic is one of the main things that kind of brings people back because they're not here just for the gameplay because everybody plays games on the internet nowadays I mean look at me and that's what kind of dri drives people to come back is your personality so as long as you're having fun and you're not even realizing that it's recording and you get some funny moments of those clips use it people enjoy it so at this point i'm going to assume that you just already have your clip and the second part is you want to edit it you want to make it short enough for you to put onto instagram and you want to throw your own little pizzazz into it so i'm going to show you a quick way of how i edit my clips for instagram so the program i use i know there's a lot of other programs out there a lot that are free i personally use premiere pro and let's just get right into this i'll just go to new project instagram okay and then i'm gonna go to my collage of videos here and i know there is I think it's this one okay all i'm gonna do is grab this clip i don't know about this i don't know about this guys ah! I'm gonna like... see that's that's about a 35 second clip right there and I could use that or I could throw some stuff into it. And what I'm going to actually add is something I use every once in a while, just to remind people, this is just for the video itself, is something I had made a long time ago. And uh, once I get this all set up, I'm gonna just get rid of this green real quick. And, uh, yep, yep. And I'm gonna choose where this goes. Oh, it's not let me move it. Okay. I'm gonna, I think I want it a little bit like right there. Just to remind the people on Instagram to leave a like, you know? If you're doing this, like editing videos for YouTube, we want to throw something in there, remind people to subscribe or comment. And I'm going to just render this video out. I'll be right back. All right. Now that I have this clip right here, the next thing that I use the most of, okay, is this program right here. It is called Dropbox. Dropbox is a really really cheap actually it's it's free it's a free program that you can download on the computer as well as your phone 
And as long as you pretty much log in on both sides, you drag it from your computer. And once it's done loading, it's gonna go straight to your phone. Now I'm gonna go onto my phone on the app and I'm gonna show you that process from there to how I do this. All right guys, so I got my phone pulled up here. I'm, I'm recording with Mobilezine, but I have Instagram and Dropbox. So in Dropbox, I'm gonna refresh my page and you should see that clip that I just put in there right there, you see? So all you need to do from this point is just click on those three dots up top whenever I get to it. I'm gonna hit the buddy, pass buddy, click on the button. button there you go <laughs> and then you're gonna go to export so from there it's gonna give you all the options that you can put this on I if you click on Instagram feed it'll load and it'll load straight into Instagram sometimes it takes a bit it depends on the length of your video but once you get in there it's you, you got it in you just make sure it's the right size and you go from there you can change the gradients you can change the filter the trim the cover photo if you have a really good time where you can stop it at to kind of have people scroll by and be like that looks interesting choose a good cover photo it can get you a couple of those extra views that are really really nice so i'm going to name this horror games are fun but the jump scares and I'm gonna just throw hashtag sick buddy in there. And then after that, all you gotta do is click share and boom. You know, you guys got it right there. That's all you need to do. After you click share, it's going to be on Instagram. That's all you need. So, yeah. guys i hope that you found this somewhat informative i know there's a couple of programs that you have to install but it, i mean it works it works for me and it's it's pretty cut and dry once you get the hang of it honestly i edit my videos i throw a little couple of things in there just to kind of you know add my own little taste kind of just remind people to like remind people i have a creator code all that stuff and it's worked for me so far. I hope that you guys do this and you guys can start growing your fan base on Instagram as a social media platform to drag them to whatever you use, whether it's Twitch, Mixer, YouTube, anything like that, guys. So if this did help you out, feel free to hit that like button. Feel free to comment, subscribe, and best of all, have a great day.